Welcome to Brit Lab. Today we're asking, what does it take to burn off the calories from a chocolate bar? Pretty sure they used to be bigger than this, but there you go. Full of fat and sugar, but we just can't resist them. The question is, how much exercise do you have to do to burn off this naughty little treat? Well, our chocolate bar is a whopping 260 calories. And when you know that, it's actually relatively easy to find out. You can consult something called the Compendium of Physical Activities, which is an enormous list of activities and their calorie burning properties. So according to the list, there are a couple of things that I could do to burn off that titchy little chocolate bar. Go for a 45 minute walk or 12 minutes of Olympic kayaking, but I don't have time for the walk and I don't have a kayak on me. So instead I'm going for a 20 minute jog. I'm off. The compendium calculates these figures using a measure called an MET. It stands for Metabolic Equivalent of Task, but in layman's terms, it's a way of measuring an activity's energy cost. The higher the MET score, the more calories it burns per minute. Phew. So, according to the list, that's the chocolate bar busted. But what if jogging's not your bag? Well, you could also try the following. Dancing for 25 minutes, playing a casual game of football for 30 minutes, sweeping for 70 minutes, or you could do press-ups for 45 minutes. But whilst the impressively named compendium might be a useful guide, it is just that, a guide. It doesn't take into account differences in body mass, fat content, age, sex, how we move, all sorts of things. There is a way of factoring all this in to get personalised figures, but it involves maths like this if you're a man and like this if you're a woman. So I'd suggest sticking to the compendium guide, but there is another problem with this approach. It might be the wrong way to think about how we balance our food intake and activity. Really, we should watch what we eat as much as what we burn. Studies show we're terrible at keeping track of how many calories we eat, which means we can't accurately guess how much we need to burn off. The key is to balance an active lifestyle with moderation of the food that might not be the best for us. So, in the right context, there's nothing wrong with the occasional chocolate bar. For more hints and tips, please subscribe to BritLab and give us your feedback in the comments section below.